I'm delighted to be joined this time around by uh, Dr. Rebecca Parsons and Neil Ford, who are co-authors, along with Patrick Poir, of Building Evolutionary Architectures. I, I felt that this evolutionary metaphor uh, was actually a quite powerful one uh, when you think about this in the context of architecture. And I remember listening to Neil give, give one of his talks and he called it emergent architecture. And we had a very robust discussion about why that was a really bad name. Um, and obviously, <clears throat> I won that particular debate since we're calling it evolutionary architectures now. Now it's probably about 12 years ago, Rebecca first uh, told me about this idea of applying uh, evolutionary computing fitness functions as a way of doing software governance and in particular automating software governance. And it really caught my attention because it was such an innovative approach. It's, it's what I call a metaphorical mashup when you take two co disjointed subject areas, but then you mash them up. Good code is good code. Bad code is bad code. It uh, doesn't matter if it's retail, if it's, you know, embedded, if it's healthcare. Good code is good code and bad code is bad code. But there is no such rule about what constitutes a good architecture. There was a, uh, something that came up um, in the book, which I've not come across before. And I mean, I'm pretty well read. I've been around a fairly long time. But it really intrigued me. I really learned something about this idea of connaissance. I mean, where does this come from? This idea of being able to more deeply describe the different types of coupling. It, it's fascinating because it's from a book from, that was published in 1993. The name of the book is what every programmer should know about object-oriented design. The fascinating part of that book is his definition of connaissance, which is really a vocabulary for describing coupling. You know, we're not looking at breeding dogs. You know, okay, we're going to take this architecture and this architecture and try to get one that looks like this. Uh, but but the, the, the key really was to find out um, using fitness functions, this concept as this unifying metaphor for talking about very different things. Performance, security requirements, observability requirements, logging requirements, coupling, code quality, all of these different things. We've realized that the more functional cohesion you have, the tighter the scope you can keep uh, your coupling to. From what we have seen, if you're in a large scale enterprise with a complex IT estate, evolvability is something that does matter because your ability to respond to change, introduce new products and services, is it's crucial that you be able to evolve not just your code, but your architecture. Subscribe to the GoTo YouTube channel now and join the experts in person or online at any upcoming GoTo conference using the promo code BOOKCLUB. Visit gotopia.tech to learn more.